Adam 22. Stop. Get help. It means a lot. No, it doesn't mean a lot to me, but to you. Stop. Think about your life. Get help. Think about your wife. Think about your future kids. Let's get into the video, guys. So we finally got the season finale of the show where Adam would be giving away his wife for the second That's... time. In the last episode, Crib Mac had taken a steady lead as the Bro, the this is time. so crazy, guys. In the la last episode. Look! I don't like this eagerness. I had taken a steady lead as the fan favorite to get the job done. As he went around terrorizing. This sounds so stupid, bro, to get a job done like it's a mission, bro. Feel me? Feel me? Minish. Both the audience. Mission fail. We'll get him next time. And the competition at the very same time. I want to bust that coochie. Oh, you want to get it out? No, no, no. Get it out. Wait, no, no, no. This is like a mutual thing. Like, we're... No, no, no. I want to bust her coochie. We're going to get you out of the situation. Did you guys know this man recently got locked up? I'm in good spirits. Guess what? I'm not going to get life with anything. I'll get three to five years, bro. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. He got locked up? We got to get you some conjugal visits. We're going to find some big booty. Let's get him up in here. I mean, hey. If this is the legacy he's gonna leave on the world, then so be it. To free that man, Crip Mac. <laughs> Either way, the show only gets more and more cuck-oriented as it goes on. As in the next challenge, these guys give her a table dance while Adam watches on. I get to see how they're gonna perform in front of my husband. He's like right next to me. And I think this one guy was actually there to try and hook up with Adam. As he comes in with a thong on. I love a man in a black thong. It's not. Yeah, right here. Mm. He's got a nice musk. Oh, yeah. The French really know how to do it. Honestly, I think Adam was into it. There was a thong involved. I saw a lot of booty. There was a thong. I don't know if you liked it as much as I liked it, but I liked the thong. Hey, yeah. I liked the, the gyrate. <laughs> if you liked it as much as I liked it, but I liked the thong. Hey, yeah. I liked the, the, the gyrate. The hips. <laughs> Look at the nigga in the back. I liked it, but I liked the thong. Two minutes, you'll be good. Hey, yeah. I liked the, the gyrate. The hips, the mask, kind of had a little weird type vibe going, you know? Then a guy named Little D comes in and really shows her how it's done. He picked Lena up, he brought her over to the couch. I just know my heart rate is off the charts. Like, there is no way that anyone shot my heart rate through the Guys, if I have a wife, like I'm my personal wife, and another nigga picks it up, And this is when the serious meat watching literally begins. Do you want the guy with the biggest? Can we see their? Is that possible, Monica? Can you ask them? So they slowly come out there one by one to show them what they're working with. And this man Adam is just straight up bone hawking over here. Bro! This is fake. No, guys, I'm not believing. This is fake. I'm not gonna believe. This is purely fake. Look how many things there are. She owes a slice of the baguette. Was huge. Massive. Wow. So, and my wife is gonna say this? No. Stop. Get help. In there, in front of Adam and Lena, I could see the look on Adam's face, and uh, I don't think he was quite ready for what I had to bring. Does it often not fit? As I'm swinging there in front of Adam and Lena, it's a crazy sentence. Can we just acknowledge how insane this entire series is? Like generations of Adam's descendants will look on in horror as they watch this years back from now. I'm talking about like in the year 2080, his great 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 grandson is going to be getting paid for this. And shout out to Crip Mac for refusing to show off his piece. Yes. Yeah, bro. It's for her. It's for her. I swear. Hey. Adam, three years. I've known you three years. Now it's time you show me your. So I choked that mother. I grabbed him and choked him. That's what he said. No, no, no. I mean, my wife wants to see it. Strange animal. And this is when they eliminate the thong man as well as Crip Mac. You, we all knew this was going to happen from the start. I mean, hell, Adam even said this when discussing the show. She wants Crip Mac to be the one to. I was kind of saying the opposite, but there are people on the show that I think that she would be very happy if they won. And there are people on the show who I think realistically she might jump off of a, a local bridge if they want. 
Now is this mean, actually going to happen, bro? And they end up choosing Little D as the man to get the job done. And the person who's going to my wife is Little D. And the person that's going to my wife. Look at the nigga is happy as hell. He's like, ooh, you haven't enough for this nigga wife. Pop, 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 pop. Nah, this is so strange and unnatural. Like, gonna go upstairs right now. This planet's our only home, but we're not treating it that way. Greenwashing speak. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's do it. He just won. Let's go today. Their response to little D grabbing the ass. Should we go upstairs right now? I'm with it. Let's do it. He just won. I know some of you guys are getting hard after this. You guys are weird if you guys are getting hard before for this, bro. Mm, I gotta be the husband of the year. Let me tell you, I am the one. And I will say, this has all been an absolute masterclass in digital marketing and selling this product, which just happened to be his wife. From a moral standpoint, I could not disagree more with the premise. The guy is there judging is these. He said about Adam's ability to garner as many impressions as possible. Nah, this guy, bro. Continue to make millions of dollars off of degeneracy. Fox. That was his wedding outfit. Yeah. That was his suit from his wedding, yeah? Mm, I'm gonna Our wedding. shoes for the wedding. We put uh, a uh, marriage outfit. Well, my tux, but obviously I had taken the tux off by the time. What's a tux? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that Once is. you've crossed a certain line comments. in the name of money, I guess there is really no going back. How will this affect him and his family in the long run? <laughs> I do not know. And so obviously the scene has actually come out. No way, it came out! <laughs> no! No! Stop laughing at this shit, bro. This stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. This point. I will say. No way. They released the scene already. That's that fast. Point. I will say. No way. They released the scene already. That's that fast. And so obviously the scene has actually come out at this point. I will say when it comes to the internet in general, it really didn't make a size. People splash compared to the first scene where with the internet in general it really didn't make a sizable splash compared to the first scene where it was like all anyone could talk about and I do think the novelty of her being with another man has really just kind of run its course yeah I didn't really see any memes about this I mean there were people talking about how during the act Adam actually did a fist bump with this guy, which is just insane behavior. I mean, that should be a criminal offense. But that was really all I saw circulating the web when it came to this film. Now, obviously, with this being a big moment in him and his wife's career, he has been going on a bit of a press run, just like he did the first time. And in doing that, he ended up going on this whatever podcast, which I think is pretty much like a uh, diet fresh and fit. You said the reason the value is the financial value is the financials you get for, from the videos But then you also say that you don't do anything with the money that it doesn't really matter to you So you guys don't live a luxurious lifestyle the money is just kind of sitting there So how is that a finance a financial value if you don't even use it? Well her and I are building a business and also, you know, we have plans of not working forever So for me, it's like, you know, I would like to leave the game with I don't know 10 20 30 million dollars and so us doing that was probably the greatest windfall of money that we ever got from doing anything and it was relatively painless for it. 
I mean, how do you guys feel about that with him, like... Fuck money, guys. Fuck money, bro. Fuck money at this point, bro. Fuck money, bro. Your wife is worth more than money, bro. Hoes, I get hoes ain't shit, but wife, you wife, you picked wife it up yourself. Suffering now with the public scrutiny. You picked, and then you, maybe you picked wife it up yourself, bro. So then what the fuck is you doing trying to let other niggas fuck, bro? He just eventually completely wiping himself from the internet, selling off his business for X amount of dollars, and then we just never see or hear from Adam again. Is that so bad? Or are you of the mindset like the internet is forever? And like I said earlier, do you think that what he's doing now is going to affect his family for generations to come? Are you concerned about your child? I believe it's a do she's a daughter, right? Mm -hmm. I have a daughter I just gave birth a couple months ago. Do you ever worry that one day she'll see this content and maybe would you want her to be doing content like this? Is this something that would make you proud as a father to a young daughter? <laughs> I think every parent wants to see their offspring do better than them. So for sure, I wouldn't like to see her, you know, just sort of default to that just because she knows that her parents did it. Um, but as far as if one day she's an adult and she decides that she wants to do whatever, uh, I know a lot of girls who make a shitload of money on that don't even show their so I can't just look at all the nah, profession and say like, oh, that would be a, a hideous way for my offspring. To yeah, Fox, a lot of girls making money on OnlyFans don't even show nothing. Like, they, don't, they show something, but not nothing. You know what I'm saying? They show something, but... Okay, but I certainly wouldn't be encouraging it. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of the point where he has really boxed himself in. It's just that when it comes to a level of degeneracy that his entire life is on, you really have no room to talk badly almost about anything else. Because when you're to the point where you've sold, like, the most prized thing in your life, your partner, for, like, the highest bidder, morally, you just really have no grounds to stand on. Not the highest bidder is fucked up, bro. The highest bidder is fucked up. Oh, Adam, okay, when this whole cuck arc first came around, a lot of the criticism was centered around, well, how is this going to affect your kid? I said in a video that it was just strange to me that when I'm looking at Adam's Instagram story, I could see videos of him playing with his kid perfectly fine. And then on the very next story, I'm seeing all of this explicit material involving him and various women. And something about that obviously just doesn't sit right with people. And so I think ever since the tractors started coming forward with these talking points, he has decided to change his tune when it comes to his kid and be a little bit more adamant about protecting her. Sue little angel, man. Sue little angel. You're gonna come into this evil ass world, bro. You're gonna come to this evil ass world, bro. Like, all the things your parents did, I hope that they don't come and haunt you. Like, real shit, bro. They did what they had to do, though. Damn, bro. It is what it is, bro. I just hope that she doesn't get any hate from the action of the parents, who, which I hope they don't. She's a little, little angel, bro. Her, I don't believe they show her or her face online anymore, mm. and I think that was the right choice. Because Fuck. at one time, they were trying to do, like, the whole family arc thing. I think that his girl had, like, a mom Instagram page. I think they had, like, a family vlog channel. And just the two things cannot really coincide. You wouldn't say it's beautiful. Uh, well, I don't, I, no, obviously no. <laughs> We're not call it beautiful, though. So wouldn't you want better for your own wife? Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, she is selling her body online to random men. And I don't images know. Images of her body, yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah, images well, of her body. Well, when Jason Love shows up, the body itself is going. And so throughout this podcast, this woman and this man were steadily applying pressure to Adam. Like you hang around a lot of the blats, right? So you, you know what we do. <laughs> His wife does. Yeah. Those are the types of comments that Adam is going to have to deal with for a very long time. Facts. I mean, he actually got so annoyed by this man's presence that 
He eventually kind of just calls him a scammer, calls out some of the things that he does in his personal life, and just completely walks off. Saying that he was tempted to polish that milk dud head of his. Either way, I just kind of wanted to tie a bow on this whole situation. That That's crazy, man. Recently. That's fucked up. I mean, it's up. one thing to be entertained by, like, a decent reality TV show. But if you, like, had the reminder set up on your phone that this was dropping, I think you need some Jesus in your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I can't lie you. If you knew the exact day and time the tape was going to drop, you fucked up. You a fuck nigga. You a fuck nigga, bro. Hell no. Nah. You know what you guys think about it down below. Hey, as always, man, you if you guys knew what time and day and seconds and milliseconds that was dropping, another video, the tape, you know what I tell you I'm talking about. You a fuck nigga, bro. Get help. Stop.